guys, welcome back to another Give These Gal Guesses. If you're new and you're wondering like, what is this? Basically, I'm Gimpy's Gal, my husband's Gimpy, he runs this channel. Sometimes I pop on. Basically what I do is like a fun twist on unboxing. So I unbox games, show you what's inside, and at the end I kind of give you my guess on how I think the game was played. And the reason why it's funny is because I know nothing about these games and even after years, of doing these <laughs> these videos and years of my husband making this videos and, and running this channel, I still know like so little, it's not even funny. Um, so yeah, if you're new, that's what this is. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my, my videos or my husband's other content on this channel, make sure you are subscribed. It takes like two seconds. I'm gonna count to three to give you that extra second. If you're not, click the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, then cut the notifications on. Three, two, one. Thank you. Um, if you're brand spanking new though, then don't like the video or subscribe or any of that until you've watched all the video. And then you can make your mind up at the end if you like it. And if you do, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, notifications, all that. Enough on that. Let's jump into this one. This is another Compass Games game. It's called American Tank Ace, 1944 to 1945. I love a good cheat on the front of the box that tells me something because for those of you that are new, when I guess how to play it at the end, there's a few things that I guess. I guess who, when, and where. And so the when is already told to me and that's 1944 to 1945. And it says American Tank Ace. So I can assume that America is somehow connected, right? Um, yeah, so let's jump in. It says, a solitaire tank combat game. So right away, this is a solitaire game by Gregory M. Smith. The front of the box has a pretty cool picture of a, you guessed it, a tank. And on the back, we have um, some examples of like gameplay, the counters, looks like some history. Uh, and then there are these little like, there's just information that's on the back of most of these games. I've learned through my years of doing this that there is usually the contents are, no, are, are usually listed and then usually like the solitaire, solitaire suitability, complexity, how many players, how long does it take to play, scales. So that's what I'm going to tell you now. So the complexity is a four out of 10. The time scale is semi abstract. It says individual missions eight per month. So I don't know what that means. Map scale, again, abstract. Unit scale, individual tanks, crewmen, enemy vehicles, anti-tank guns, and ammo. Number of players, it says one or more. Um, so I don't know what that means. And then it says suitability for solitaire, designed for solitaire play. So it's specific for solitaire. So when it comes to suitability for solitaire games, like this is like the top that you can get. A game that is made to be played solitaire. You can't get any more suitable for, for solitaire than that, right? Average time to play, 10 to 15 minutes for a single mission or four to five hours for a full career. And then it's recommended recommended for ages 14 and up. Sorry, by the way, Duncan sponsor me, please. I don't have Duncan in the cup. I just really love this cup. I just have some iced coffee with some caramel in it, but it's so good. Okay, like I need coffee or caffeine. Actually, I do. Uh, for small kids, so I do need all the caffeine I can get. Anyways, stay focused. Components. We have one and a half sheets of nine, nine sixteenths inch counters, five tank display mats, uh, double sided for 10 different tank models total, four player aid cards, double sided. I like that because sometimes it doesn't specify that. So like this one says five tank display mats, and then specifically it says double sided, so while there's five of those, it's technically for 10 total tanks. And I like that it clarifies that because I have been confused by that before in other games. Uh, four player A cards, again, double-sided. One crew status display mat, again, double-sided. One for NCO, one for officer. One 8.5 inch by 11 inch battle board. One operational display, a rules booklet, one mission log sheet, one ten sided and two ticks ticks sided, <laughs> two six sided dice, and then a game box and a lid. Thank God that that was. T <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never seen it say that the components are a game box and a lid. That's funny. Um, I like that very thorough. So that's what comes in it. 
Um, designer is Gregory M. Smith. Artist is Nadir Elfara and Matt White. Package design is Brian Miller and Nadir Elfara. And then project director was John Kranz or Kranz. You be the judge on how to say it. So that's the box. Let's open it on up here. I'm going to set this over here because I think all of this is in. So I have learned, if you're new, go back and watch some of my older videos or some of the ones I recently posted. There was one, I don't remember the name of it. Um, sometimes I do this. I'll show you my secret, my little, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, signature move, which is take the lid off. And I do a box dump, right? I just dump the contents out, boom, we're good to go, right? Well, a few videos back I did that, and this game had like, like multiple layers of things very neatly and specifically packed in the box. And so when I did my box dump, it became utter chaos and just a complete disaster. I still think he's trying to like figure out how everything fits back into that box because ever since I dumped it, it's just never been the same. I think it was that Stars of Acarius game, but oh my gosh, that was such a disaster. So I definitely have learned. Um, and then I also ripped a map before. So if you've been here, you know that story perfectly well. He included a clip in the last video of it, but if you're not, stick around, I'm sure it'll happen again. So we have the dice. It said there was two six-sided and one, what is this, 10-sided? Yeah, once inside it, and uh, it looks like white and black, so just regular, you know, dice. Um, a bag of baggies. Bag of baggies are common with war games because there's lots of counters, there's lots of cards, there can be, you know, cubes and different things, so bag of baggies is really, um, like, goes hand in hand with war games. So if you get a war game, you are likely at some point in your war gaming um, career going to get a bag of baggies. Um, and when you do, make sure you hang on to that bag of baggies because this bag of baggies becomes useful for whatever's in the box. The box will fill all of the baggies in the bag of baggies. So I just love saying bag of baggies, but bag of baggies. Here is the rules of play. It is um, 28 pages because of the back. And it's color. And it's just like your typical rules of play. There was a little, what is this? Um, okay, it says online game support is available. There are several options to choose from. Visit us on the web, contact us by email, or you can do this QR code right here. Um, that will take you, I guess, to a customer service thing for Compass Games. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, here's the rule booklet. Ooh, look, this is very, very neat. I haven't seen this in a rule book before. How to win the game. Like how much more direct and, and like simple can you get? Like we have how to play the game up here at the top, but how to win the game is different from how to play the game. And I like that it has a whole section on how to win the game. So that's pretty cool. They are very thorough and detailed in this game. Way to go, Compass Games. You're really, really being thorough on this. So I like to keep the components nearby so I can make sure like we check everything off. So we did have the rule book. It didn't have the bag of baggies listed, so that's a bonus that you get. Um, it did have the dice, the three dice. There was um, one ten sided and two six sided, so we already got that. And we did the rule book, so the rules booklet. Okay, this is the mission log sheet, which it does say there is one mission log sheet, so that is what this is uh, right here. And again, it's like I like this when they can be copied, um, so you can like just play the game forever because you're not going to run out of this. You can just make copies or order more, I guess. But it just says mission log sheet. It has mission, targets, success or failure, and then notes. And then it says tank name type at the top and a nickname. And then there's different like tank things on the side of it. But that is the mission log sheet. Then we have, looks like the player aid. So, so here's those tank displays. So it says there's five of these and they are two sided for 10 total tanks. So we will look at these really quickly. We have the M4A1. I so badly wanted to just say latte, but I know it says late. <laughs> I wanted to say latte because, you know, I like coffee, but it's not M4A1 late. Um, we have weapons, uh, armor values, 
uh, turret facing, so which way your turret is facing. Uh, there's a place at the top that says notes available at start. Um, stowage slash limited ammo. Um, yeah, and then again, I like this one. I just saw this on a game, I think it was a compass game, that had something similar with the tank and then like driver, assistant driver, gunner, loader, and C more, C and commander. Is that what that CMDR stands for? Commander and then engine. And at the bottom, you have the tank commander, gunner, driver, assistant driver, and loader. Um, and I guess that's how you can keep track of like if someone's injured, if they're ejected from the tank and all of that jazz. So, um, and then there are machine guns and they're listed over here. So that is that side. And then the back of that one is M4A1 and then in parentheses it says seven, six. Same thing. You have all the different people that are in that tank listed. Turret is facing which way. You have weapons, you have ammo and stowage, armor values, all that. So it looks like they're the same. Obviously it's just different tanks on each side. So there's that one, and then we have M4A176W, but all the same things, just um, a little bit different of a tank. And then on the back, M4A176, and then it says HVSS. This is just getting too many letters and numbers and acronyms, and it's just too much for me, but it's here. So here's the back of that one, or the front of that one, or whatever side you wanna call it. Then we have just the M4, which looks like this. And then the M4A1 early, they look very, like, all the same, except for the, the names are just different. M26, this one doesn't have as much of the stowage and limited ammo as the other ones did, but everything else looks to be pretty well the same. These armor value numbers are different, so I'm guessing each tank has a different, you know, strength and weaknesses and all that stuff. So there's that. And then we have M4A3 E8, easy eight. Um, again, most of the same things. We have a tank commander, a gunner, a driver, assistant driver, and a loader. Which way your turret is facing, ammo, values, you know, you know, the usual. And then last we have the M4A3 E2 Jumbo 75. Again, you see what flies. Armor values, weapons, turret is facing, all the different people. We all know now. M4A3, E2, Jumbo 76. Too many numbers and letters and acronyms and whatever. But here's the last tank. So there's five of these, front and back. So there's 10 total tanks. Each tank has its own side of these. And again, they look like they all kind of just display what that tank can do. And that way you can keep track of damage and the people that are in it and all of that stuff. So there are the tank displays. And then we have Okay. So it said we have one battle board which we haven't gotten to yet. We have a crew status display mat which is this right here and it says it is front and back. Um, double-sided, one for NCO, one for officer. So this is the NCO side right here. Again, we have like their skills, points, what unit they're in, their prestige level. I guess you can draw a face on here if you want. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, it looks like I want to draw a face on there so badly, but I don't know. I guess it's so it can be anybody or maybe there's faces on <laughs> in the counters, but this is how you keep track of the crew and their status. And then on the back is for the officer. So the same thing, you have like prestige level, war trophies, their skills, points, unit. And again, I wanna draw a face on that. So there is the crew status uh, player aid mat, display mat, whatever you wanna call it. Then we have four player aid cards, which are double-sided. Double One, two, three, four, that's what these are. So we have a skill effects listing and cost chart. So it, I guess, costs you to be effective in a certain skill. And this is what it, this is where that, it gives you that information. Event check chart, lots of tongue twisters. Event check chart, skill effect listing and cost chart. That was not too bad. Uh, back of that one is command summary. So like fire at target, what happens? Fire again at the same target. <laughs> fire bow. Fire 50 cal, fire the two inch, reload the ready rack, switch rounds, move forward, move backward, move to hull down, 
angle the hole, move for a flank shot, call for fire, button up and unbutton. Ooh, unbutton. Um, but that's the command summary. Don't know what that means, but it's a player aid card. Uh, we have a chart F1 Fort Knox training. And then at the bottom of that is chart W1, so war trophies and chart W2 trades. That's one side. And then the back is C1 random event chart. And then the bottom of that one is C2 serious wound resolution chart. Lots of charts, lots of words. But that is the second player A card. Third one, we have B1 main gun anti-tank to hit chart. I need to just make a song. There's so many words in this. I feel like I'm not even speaking like the words have lost their meaning because I've said so many of them. Has it ever happened to you? We're like, we're like, you say the same thing so many times and then you're like, what is that even a word? You know what I mean? No, just me. Okay. Well, we have B1 main gun anti-tank to hit chart. Then we have the B2 HE slash MG attack chart. 2d6. So it's telling you that you use the two six out of die for these. And then B3 main gun slash AT penetration chart. I don't know what any of that means, but these are all player agent things. Uh, so all the charts, all the charts with all the things that tell you all the things you need to know to what we saw in the rule book, how to win the game. Before INF versus tank slash Panzerfaust chart, you only need one six out of die for that. Beneath that, we have B5 immobilized from movement chart. We need both two or both six-sided dice for that. Six-sided dice, did I say that right? Yeah. See, words are losing their meaning. Um, B5A, hull down after movement chart. We only need one six-sided die for that. And then last, we have the B6 fire slash bailout chart, which you need both dice for that. And then a B7 wound chart. And I think I already did the back, yeah. And last, we have the mission assignment chart, A1 mission assignment chart. We do have a weather chart, and then we have an enemy troop quality chart. You just have a chart for everything, don't you? Uh, enemy force generation chart, and then a terrain chart. So all the charts for all the things, you will have it. If it's something you want to know, if you want to know if the guy driving the, the enemy tank uh, is wearing underwear, there is a chart that will tell you if he is wearing underwear and if they are clean. I mean, that's just how I feel right now. Um, all we have left is the counters and the battle board, I guess. That should be it. Counters and here's the battle board. So it looks like this. Oh, this is small. Not what I was expecting, but here's the operation map and then there's the battle ward. So we have, says the sequence of play here, determine the mission, set up the battle board, conduct combat, check for German counterattack. If you win the battle, check for war trophies. And then it says obtain awards and experience points, repeat on the next mission line on the mission log until killed or until the last turn of April 1945. So yeah, that is the sequence of play and this is the operations map. Map, not mat, map. And then this is the battle board. So this is like what you actually play on. But this has places for counters too. So I guess you use them both. Um, but this is just a really small, but it's a solitaire game. So you're not playing with a bunch of people. You're playing yourself. So kind of good that it's pretty, you know, contained. Um, but we have current mission, current weather, uh, which says snow, mud, rain, or clear. Current terrain, which says urban, Bocage, 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 whatever that means, woods and open. And then we have A, B, C, D, and E, which are different locations. We have smoke areas. We have a smoke on location, close range, medium range, and long range. Means nothing, but will mean everything to you if you play the game. And by the way, there is nothing on the back of those boards. So just so you know, hopefully I'll have a frame this whole time. Then we have the counters, which there's not very many, it looks like two, so I'm not gonna dig them out or take them out, but there's counters, they have numbers, they have weapons, they have people, they have awards and trophies and all the things that you need to play the game are on these counters. And with that, we have gone through everything that comes in this game, which we actually forgot because there's two more things that it told us came with the game that I wanna check off the list. So last on the list, we have game box and lid. 
So here's the game box. We'll put everything in the game box and we'll put on the lid. And with that, we checked it all off. So that was American Tank Ace. Um, I will go ahead and give you my guess now because it pretty much told me it's Americans versus Germans. It is from 1944 to 1945, and it takes place in Europe. So yeah, that is my guess, and it's a war game. You're playing uh, as the Americans against the Germans. And it's a tank game, and so you're you're fighting with tanks, and that's the premise of the game. So um, yeah, not much more to say about it. It is a solitaire game, so not a good party game unless you're very um, unless you're like a loner. And then this is a perfect game to take to like. <laughs> let's say someone has a game night and you really don't want to go. Just bring a game like this, and when someone's like, "Oh, cool, a game," and you bring, oh, bring a solitaire game and go sit up in the corner and enjoy your enjoy yourself and live your best life because that's what you should do but anyways this is a solitaire game and it's by compass games and again not much else to say about it besides it's a tank game it happens in from 1944 to 1945 and it's americans and germans so i hope that you guys enjoyed this i try to make them fun because i'm going to be honest Sometimes when I open them up and I see all the words and all the things, I'm like, I've said this before, but it's like Charlie Brown's teacher. And it's just like starts to get all blurry and just wah, 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 wah. So I try to make them fun. I try to add in a little humor and maybe sometimes I do get song like creative. I did say a song once and I forgot. I forgot it now. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, be sure to keep an eye out because Gimpy will be playing it and he'll get it out and kind of tell you how it's played. Some games, I think he just kind of talks about how they're played and some games he actually plays through them. I know we have a lot of Compass Game games because they are a great company. So definitely go check out some of his other Compass Game videos or some of my other guesses. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys! American Tank Ace! It sounds like, um, it could be like a sitcom. I'm trying to think of how, well, like, um, I was going to do like the King of Queens, but do it as American Tank Ace. So like, I'm driving home in, you know, in my tank tonight. <laughs> anyway, that was stupid. I'll make people get it, but. Hope you guys liked it. Okay, enough. Bye. <laughs>